do that. Show me what to do. OK. okay. Ready? Uh, no, but go ahead. OK. Arms up. And one, two, three, three. four. Two, three, four, to your ankle. Two, three, four, four other okay. side. What am I doing? Terribly, you're not committing at all. I'm not committing. Yeah, no, you have to really do it, you know? Didn't you ever do Jane's tape? Jane? Jane's workout. Oh, I was so addicted to that tape, but then I switched to Richard because he is such a goof. Yeah, forget this. We're gonna do these twisties for your waist, okay? Like this? Twisties. <laughs> Wash the machine. Here we go. One, but two, two. Three, four, two, four. <laughs> okay, fine. I think it's time to quit. We take a break now. Are you kidding? We've barely gotten started. Now, what do you usually do for a workout? I use a little hay and a pitchfork. Really? Really? Oh, boy, then it is about time I got you hooked into this stuff. Look, you know, the only reason I came here was because I was hoping to see Josie. But would it hurt you to get in shape in the meantime? It's not even at her desk. You know, Frankie, I feel a little ridiculous. Well, that's because you're wearing that stupid sweatsuit. Why didn't you put on a leotard? Because I don't have a leotard. It's because you want to hide your body. Well, Frankie, no, no, no. Let's just let's start with the uh, analyzing thing, <laughs> I really okay, don't cause... understand this, Charlene. What? You are such a knockout. Why didn't you show yourself off? Frankie, that's... I, I, it's I... because... Oh, is that what I'm doing? Yeah, that's what you're doing. And don't you think it's about time you gave yourself a little break? I don't know. I'm not going to change overnight, Frankie. No, I guess not. <laughs> no, you're going to change right now. What do you mean? I'm going to change you, sweetheart, from farm woman into Frankie. Wonder Woman. Frankie. Frankie. Well, I can't go plead your case to Mac. Can't or won't? Both. You know, this isn't just for me, Rachel. Mac is my only concern right now. But you said he was it's upset. It's too soon. The shock is too great, and his disappointment is too deep. And I'm not sure I can trust you. Do you really think I'd... I'd do anything at all like this again? I think you do things, and you tell yourself you're doing them for the best of everyone. You like to be in control, don't you? You're really enjoying this, aren't you? No. You like to see me suffer. I don't care whether you suffer or not. Mac is my only concern right now. Now, will you stay away from this party? Yes. I have your word? On one condition. What? I will stay away from the party if you promise to talk to Mac for me. Oh, Iris. Well? You're going to resort to emotional blackmail? Rachel, he is my father. I love him, and I want to see him and explain everything to him. Then you will agree to stay away? Is it a deal? I'm sorry, Iris. I thought for once you would try to put Mac first. What are you doing, Rachel? Think about it. Are you really thinking about Mac? Or yourself? He should be home by now. Who, dear? Jamie? Who else would I be talking about? Well, maybe the traffic's very heavy. Eh? Not at this hour. Well, perhaps he's top to the market. Then. Bridget, would you quit trying to make me feel better? I'm sorry. I didn't know you were feeling bad. I am. I am in a rotten mood, and you're not helping me any. I'm sorry, dear. I'll, I'll go look to Stephen, eh? No. Oh, no. No, Bridget, I'm sorry. I have just been on edge all day. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Weren't you feeling well, dear? No, I, I was... I was just... Fine. I had a bad dream, and I've been tense all day. That's no reason to take anything out on you. I'm sorry. Oh, Bridget, you're the one person who will just love me no matter what. Well, of course I will, dear. Of course oh, I will. He's home. Hi. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. How's Stephen? Fine. He's napping. And you? Did you survive that... Horrible scare he gave you last night? What scare? Nothing. It, it was nothing. Um, could you go check on dinner for me, please? Yes, of course, dear. Thank right you. Right away. 
I, I have had quite a day today. I took Stephen to the park because it was so beautiful. And then I went to the I had spa quite a day myself. Oh, I'll, I'll bet you did. Yeah, I I'm... saw Dr. Peterson. You did? And I talked to Marley. How is she? I have been meaning to I call... I want some answers, Vicky. Answer? Now! Uh, I, I need to check on Stephen. The blood test, Vicky. Is that what you talked to Dr. Peterson about? What was the blood test for? Well, didn't she tell you? Oh, they're here. Excuse me. I'm, I'm just going to get that. Hi. Hi, Vicky. Come in. I hope we're not late. No, perfect timing, really. No. Oh, come in. Um, excuse me. Sure. Uh, Honey, I, I forgot to tell you we're having dinner. Get rid of them. Jamie. Now, I want to talk to you now. Later. Oh, here, let me, let me take this for you. Oh, this is fabulous. Did you design that? Well, a couple of years ago, actually. And it's still in style. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's really uh, nice to have you two here for dinner. Well, needless to say, uh, we were fairly surprised that you invited us. Well, why on earth would you be surprised? Nicole is my favorite aunt. I have some me... questions for you, Vicky. Oh, Cass, No, I want this to be a family night. I want to talk about nice things and have a fun time. I second that. <laughs> Go on. Thank you. I feel ridiculous. You look gorgeous. This is too small. Are you kidding? It's perfect. Those men were staring at me, Frankie. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then they fell off their exercise bikes. Oh, oh, come on. Charlene, you are so beautiful. Why don't you know that? Let's just stretch, okay? Let's do that. One and a two. <laughs> are you like this when you're with John? I don't know. Well, you're really going to have to get over it. Like, you know, John is so at ease with himself, you know? Yeah, I know. And sometimes when I, I look at him across the room or something, I see him and he just seems so... I don't, I don't know. I just, I really like him. Oh, you like him? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna stretch laying down, okay? Um. You love him, don't you? Is this all right? <sighs> yeah, it's fine. But you haven't answered my question. <sighs> yes. I love him. Does he know? I don't know. I think so. You want to marry him? Oh, Frankie. Do you? Someday. Oh, Charlie. Frankie, no, you stop. Don't, so you go, don't you go popping your mouth off. Of him. He's not ready for this. He's not ready to be pushed. Now, just don't feel like he was being smothered, you know? Okay, Charlene. But if I were you, I'd... What? I'd go for it. Well, come on. You can't leave a man like John Hudson out there on the loose for too long. Why are you here? Well, I tried calling a couple of times, but y you weren't here. Yeah. So, how you been? Stacy, uh, what do you want? I'm not sure. I thought about what you said the other day. And uh, you're right. About what? Alicia is the reason that you and I met. She's the reason that we got to know each other. But we've been through a lot together. And she's not the only reason that you and I became friends. I'm not saying what I mean to. I came here to tell you how I felt and to tell you that you've been on my mind. Wait, uh...
I have something of yours. My scarf. Uh, I'm glad you came. So am I. I better go. Stacy. That dress. It's nice. Uh, you look nice. dinner of my life. I'm sorry. Oh, how could you do it, Cass? Grilling Vicky like that in her own home. I'm working on something, Nicole. Well, I'm telling you, Vicky did not shoot Jason. I have to follow it through. <sighs> I'm gonna go see if she needs some help with the dishes. <clears throat> nice dinner. Now you hardly touched it. Well, I wasn't all that hungry. No, you were too busy tormenting my wife. She survived it. Why are you after her, Cass? Why are you asking her all these questions about Jason? Jamie, I think maybe you better have a talk with her. Why? She's hiding something. I don't know what, but she and Jake know more than they're letting on. Well, I'm so sorry. There, there yeah. weren't more. I, I, I just didn't... Listen. Excuse me. Please, ex oh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, Victoria, could I see you out here for just a minute, dear? Uh, yes, uh, excuse me. Coffee? Yes, please. I like some. I thought you'd better know. Dr. Peterson was here earlier this afternoon, and she and Jamie seem to be having a nice long talk. Uh, that's, that's what Jamie told me. And what did you tell him? There's nothing to tell. Victoria, stop it. Now, Jamie has a right to know whatever it is that you are trying so desperately hard to keep from him. You have no choice, dear. You've got to tell him. Victoria, everything that you hold near and dear is going to disappear if you don't. You have no choice. <laughs> 